Of course, the other piece of the Odell Beckham trade, the one that nobody's really talking about right now, was Olivier Vernon. That was the one that happened first. It got rolled into it, but basically Kevin Zeitler for Olivier Vernon gives another end to pair with Miles Garrett. And then the Browns go out and sign Sheldon Richardson. Another forgotten move because it happened the day of the Odell Beckham trade. So, Mary Kay, when you look at this reconfigured defensive line, uh, well, how do you think it impacts the rest of this defense? Well, I think just uh, in general, when you look at the defense, there have now been some major changes. Jamie Collins is gone. Jabril Peppers is gone, mm -hmm. of course, as part of the Odell Beckham Jr. trade. So they add Sheldon Richardson, which I think he's going to be very stout in the middle. Everyone I talk to say he's a really good football player. And as you wrote about, he just needs a home. <laughs> uh, he, he just needs someone to believe in him long term. And Olivier, I think he takes the pressure off Miles. Miles needed that. I think these guys together can probably be both double digit sackers. Miles needed somebody to be able to do that. And then I also think that it makes Emmanuel Ogba expendable now. Scott. Yeah, I think Richardson obviously is a, is, is a good upgrade there, but his, one of the things to remember is he's very inconsistent, at least over the past year with the Vikings. He really came out of the gate in week one and everybody thought, geez, they, they stole this, this player uh, uh, from the Seahawks. But then it was kind of it was kind of up and down. So I think the Browns really need to get some consistency from him uh, in the middle. Uh, with, on the outside with Vernon, a lot of people have talked about him being the the uh, the, the Robin to, to Miles' Batman, and I think that that kind of dynamic works good. That's something Miles Garrett really needs. Even though they kind of move him around, just knowing that there's somebody on that other side to kind of take some of the pressure off of him, open up lanes for Richardson and, and Ogan Joby in the middle is big. And then, you know, what it does for the people behind them obviously be huge. Uh, John Dorsey made no mistake uh, about how much they wanted to improve the pass rush. He was kind of asked about that a couple times mm -hmm. at the combine and, and really came out and said, yeah, we, we need to be better. So from that standpoint, they, they definitely improved mm -hmm. on that. He also said they needed to get longer on the inside, yeah. and they, they accomplished that with Sheldon Richardson. You bring pressure up the middle, uh, that can really disrupt the quarterback and move the quarterback. You've got two guys coming around the end that are going to be able to hit the quarterback, you know, something Olivier Vernon. While his sack numbers might have been down, he did hit the quarterback a lot, so that just changes things. And, Scott, like you mentioned, it opens things up for you know whoever's playing linebacker for this team, whoever's playing strong safety for this team. It opens up lanes for them to then get in and stop the run or disrupt the quarterback. So, so this has some real potential to, uh, to change the defense. And I don't think that John Dorsey is done yet. I mean, we all no. sort of forget that they still have eight draft picks left. And I think when you look at that linebacking core now, I think you can expect that they will try to upgrade that a little bit. And they did some with Adarius Taylor, but I think you'll still see some new defenders on this defense. All right, so the front four is reconfigured. I hear uh, Scott's going to try and come up with a nickname for, uh, for the front four. So Working stay tuned for that. It.